Friends, put your hands together to welcome on stage Quizmaster Pig Brain. Hello and a warm welcome to each and every one of you. You're with me, Pig Brain, here today at A Class Apart. The Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz 2020, as the nation now knows it, is a unique concept created by the Padma Shadri group of institutions as a tribute to a doyen in education, a great lady, a great champion of the cause of education and furthering of knowledge in India, a great champion of the cause for women to move forward and to grow and rise to their potential. Mrs. YGP, as she was affectionately called, has truly been an inspiration for many of us to learn from and follow in the future. It perhaps was just appropriate that the Padma Shadri group of institutions thought of a cerebral activity like a quiz to actually keep her memory alive year on year. We've reached a stage in this quiz after the grueling rounds online with TCS Ion and of course the quarterfinals which saw the country move from 24,000 contestants, I think around about 24,000 contestants, uh, down to about 400 and then down to 32 and now we are down to the final 16. From here of course a couple of uh, Episodes later, we're going to move into the big national final of this quiz. But today, it's truly a momentous occasion as this quiz progresses in the memory of a great lady, an iconic lady, a class apart indeed. Maybe our last 16 of this country are a class apart in themselves. Truly reaching this stage makes them unique. They're very young. I'm really happy that the quiz was for classes six, seven, and eight. Normally, as a nation, we kind of do too much for the high schools and leave the middle schools out. And I've had a lot of personal interactions with YGP ma'am, and she used to always tell me this. She used to say, Giri, we need to do more for the middle school kids. Those are the formative years. So it's really appropriate that this quiz is for the middle school students. Truly appreciate that. But for now, it's time to move forward and keep moving on with our game here today. It's also my pleasure and privilege to introduce to you a namesake of Mrs. YGP in that sense. Her pseudonym when she used to write in her media days was actually Rashmi. And my co-host here today bears that name. Uh, in fact, at a conversation with Mrs. YGP, she had once asked me, uh, don't you have any women who conduct quizzes? And thankfully, Rashmi was on our fold and I could tell her that. And that's when she told me, oh, her name is Rashmi. My name is also Rashmi. So it's really nice in that sense at a Mrs. YGP quiz to have Rashmi with us to co-anchor this semi-final. Uh, welcome to you, Rashmi. And uh, Rashmi, of course, is a well-known personality in terms of school quizzing and college quizzing in India. 
She's perhaps the only young lady at a national and international scale who does quizzes for the education sector. And uh, truly wonderful to have you with us. Uh, welcome to you, Rashmi. And uh, if you could introduce us to the four semi-finalists that you have identified through the quarterfinals that you anchored, we can move forward and get going with this quiz. All yours, Rashmi. Thank you, Big Brain. Well, guys, just like Big Brain said, from 24,000 children, we came down to 32, the top 32, and we had quarterfinals for them. An amazing set of kids and some fantastic a game that they played when it came to the quarterfinals. And today, we start our semi-final. Let me introduce you to our semi-finalist from the first semi-final. We have Nidhir Bhadran from the Tagore International School, New Delhi, where he is. Representing Padma Seshadri, Balta, and Chenna, we have Sanjay Bhatt. Following Sanjana, we have Mitash Dutta from Delhi Public School, Bangalore. And last but not the least, we have Arana Madas from VK Patel Memorial School, Pune. So all these kids have played really well in the quarterfinal, and that's the reason that they are the first semifinal. So let's see what happens in the rounds today. All right. Uh, thank you, Rashmi. And uh, time for us to move on to the first frontier of our battle here today. And I'll take you through the first frontier. But before we move in, into the first frontier itself, one of the passionate areas of Mrs. YGP was India. And I'm so happy that the theme for this quiz actually revolved around India. So... In a beautiful metaphor, we refer to this quiz as she is India. And she certainly is a country with so much to offer, especially for these youngsters who are the future of our country. So we're going to get started with what we call uh, as an entire quiz theme as she is India. And uh, we're going to pick action on the first frontier, which is called she is historic. Here it comes. All right, you know the game. Please remember, one out of the four of you will now move into the national final of this quiz. All questions in the common rounds are on the buzzer. We also have a rapid fire at the end, and I'll come to that when we get to the last round. But for the moment here today with me, Big Brain and Rashmi, you're going to quiz for that one loan slot that you will earn from among the four of you into that national final. If you're ready and you've tested your buzzers, everything is on the buzzer. The scores, plus 50 if you get it right, minus 50 if you get it wrong. Only one attempt allowed on the buzzer, and that would be for the contestant who presses the buzzer first. So if we are ready and good to go, you will unmute your mic when I identify who is the person on the buzzer, and then give me your answer. All the best to all of you, two young girls and two young gentlemen. As we move into our first semi-final of A Class Apart, the Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz 2020, brought to you, of course, in association with TCS ION, we at Grey Caps Knowledge Tribe are truly delighted to present this as we pick action with the first question, if all of you are ready, on your screen. Here it comes. His father was Mukund Pandey. He was a well-accomplished poet and a priest at a temple in Varanasi. Who is this famous jewel of India from Indian history that I am describing to you? A great personality, this son of a poet, went on to be a poet himself and a great personality in the world of music. Who am I describing? From Varanasi. You get roughly about five seconds, and if no one buzzes, then the question lapses. Five to ten, maybe. I'll be a little liberal. So none of you. All right. First one. Tough one for all the four contestants. 
We could not have celebrated India with a better question for the first semi-final. The answer that I was looking for, Than Sen. Than Sen was the son of an accomplished poet and a priest from Varanasi. And he went on to be a great jewel of Indian history. On She is Historic, moving on to the next one on your screens now. From the Mughal period, this was a food item which was used essentially to wipe heavy oil-laden meals, hence the name of this dish. Even to this day, we enjoy this dish, but not necessarily as at the end of a meal. Sometimes in the modern world, it's part of the main course now. But the name, in fact, comes from the fact that we used to wipe off our hands after an oil-laden meal. So what was given at the end of a meal in a Mughal era? And therefore, the name. It's a beautiful question. Someone's on the buzzer. Sanjana from Chennai. Go ahead, Sanjana. What do you think? Is it, is it Rumali and Rumali roti? Rumal. You use a rumal to wipe your hands. So you're saying a rumali roti was given towards the end of a meal. Well, the very size of a rumali roti, even to this day, is so huge because it gives you enough room to wipe your hands. Absolutely correct. The young Sanjana will get the first 50 uh, in this quiz to move ahead. So she's on 50. As we move to the third one, that then the history of the rumali roti. Here's the next one. On your screens now. The year was 1896. I wrote Niruda Sher Kahani, the first work in science fiction. It was the first time that from an Indian continent someone got a US patent when in 1904 I achieved that. Who am I from the world of Indian scientific history? A great personality from the history of science. Nobody. Oh, these I thought are questions which will go a buzz given the way Rashmi described how you all were all guns blazing in the quarterfinals. But the answer to this one, the one and only J.C. Bose. Well, well, I can see a couple of you smiling, saying, well, we should have got that. But moving on to the final question on your screens now. Jnana, Bhakti, Karma, Laya, Hatha. All these are different types of what? Originating from India, but celebrated all over the world today. In fact, you even have a day designated for this. Though, one tends to practice these almost every day. Sanjana Bhatt from Chennai again on the buzzer. Yes, Sanjana. Yoga. Absolutely. She'll get another 50 on that. Yoga is absolutely right. As the young girl from Chennai is beginning to make early strides into our final uh, or the semi-final which will lead her into the national final. So we're going to take a first look at our scores here today. And uh, leading this quiz while it's very early days is Sanjana on 100. But on the other side of the break, this quiz is going to really change and change gears in a significant manner. But on the other side of this break, we're going to have Rashmi back with us to take you through the next couple of rounds. So stay with us. We'll be back in just a moment. For now, young Sanjana in the lead on 100. I'm sure the rest of them will catch up. Back. In just a moment. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Now we move on to the second round of the semi-final. He is beautiful. Here it comes. Well, India is beautiful, not only in terms of its culture or festival, but in every possible way. She's meaningful and she's beautiful. 
So now let's get into our questions for the second round. The rules of the game remain the same. Minus 50 if you get it right, minus 50 if you get it wrong, and all questions on the buzzer. You would probably have some images on your screen. I would have corresponding questions to ask you. But if you think you know the answer, you can go ahead and press the buzzer. That does not matter. It's up to you. But that is also the risk you take. All right. So if you guys are ready, finalists, let's start with question number one. There we go. This is a cricket ground in child in Himachal Pradesh. What is so special about this cricket ground? All right. Sanjana Bhatt going there first one on the bottom. Yes, Sanjana, go on. So the cricket ground in Chai and Himachal is the highest cricket ground in the world. The highest cricket ground in the world. Last 15 to you, Sanjana, you're absolutely right. So we in India have the highest cricket ground in the world. That is why I said we have so much to be proud of as a country. Let's move on to question number two of this particular round. Who is the famous person and what did he give India? All right, the contestants are thinking. No one buzzing on that question. The answer I was looking for is Pingali Venkaya, the one who designed our current national flag. Moving on to question number three of round two. Here we go. Which is this dance or identify this dance? Arunima on the buzzer there. Yes, Arunima, go on. Ma'am, the answer is Bihu from Sam. Bihu from Assam, plus 50 to you. She's absolutely right. As a part of a festival, this dance is performed almost twice in a year. In a year and Bihu is the answer I was looking for. The last question of round two. Here we go. Identify a temple from this coin. Sanjana going on the buzzer there. It's a thousand rupee coin. So let's see what she has to say to that. Yes, Sanjana. It's the Brihadishwara temple in Tanjavur. This coin was released in 2010 to commemorate 1000 years of the Brihadishwara temple. She knows the entire history. She's very clear about it. Plus 50 to you, Sanjana. You're absolutely right. This was a commemorative coin for the thousand years of the Brihadishwara temple. Plus 50 to you. And now we shall move to the round three of this semi-final. Here we go. A quiz in the memory of a great lady, of a great pioneer. How can we not have a round dedicated to inspiring women from our country? So this round is all about inspiring women who, have, who were born in our country. She is inspiring. Question number one. Guys, the scoring pattern and the rules remain the same. So let's quickly get into question number one of she is inspiring. Here we go. According to the legend, she, Shiva was to marry Parvati in this particular location, but he did not show up at the wedding. Parvati turned into a goddess and therefore gave this place its name. Which place in India am I talking about? Question from mythology. Well, women are inspiring in all regions or all areas. So, a question from mythology here and Sanjana got there going on the bus. Yes, yeah, Sanjana. It's a mother in Meenakshi. Could you repeat that, Sanjana? I asked for the name of the place. So, can you give me your answer? Madurai. She says Madurai and she said Meenakshi. But unfortunately, that's a minus 50 for Sanjana. The answer I was looking for is Kanya Kumari. Because Shiva did not show up for the wedding with Parvati. She remained a Kumari, meaning the Kanya remained a Kumari. Therefore, Kanya Kumari. All right. That's okay. It's just the first minus 50. But she's got quite a bit of score in her kitty. Let's see what happens in the next question. 
Question number two on your screen. Identify the famous author of this book, the god of small things. All right, multiple panelists going on the buzzer. Arunima Das, the first one to go on the buzzer. Then yes, Arunima, go on. Could you repeat that, Arunima? Arundhati Roy. You're absolutely right. Plus 50. Arundhati Roy is the answer I was looking for. This book was all uh, this book also received Booker Prize, or she received the Booker Prize for this book, The God of Small Things. She's getting that right. Arunima is also getting into the positives uh, when it comes to the score. Let's see what happens. Two more questions remaining in this round. Question number three. On your screen, identify this famous lady. There's a clue here. Okay, both the girls have pressed the buzzer. I guess the girls are doing very well when it comes to the to a round that is dedicated to women. All right, let's see. Sanjana, the first one. They are on the buzzer. Yes. This is Indra Nui. Indra Nui. What, what is the other logo that I have there? That's Pepsi. She was a former CEO of Pepsi. You're absolutely right, Sanjana. Plus 50 to you. No nonsense. Straightforward. She knows the entire history. Moving on, the last question of this round on your screen. Identify this great Indian athlete. She's also nicknamed. Okay. Cannot allow me to complete the question. But I guess that's how well prepared all of them are. Sanjana Bhatt, the first one on the buzzer there. Yes, Sanjana. That's P.T. Usha. P.T. Usha. Do you know the nickname that she has? She's also known as Pioli Express. That's absolutely right. Plus 50 to you, Sanjana. P.T. Usha, the answer I was looking for. All right. All our semi-finalists have been doing extremely well in the second and the third round of the semi-final. On the other end of the break, Big Ping will give you the scores and they'll take the quest forward. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching A Class Apart with me, Pig Brain. And of course, thank you to young Rashmi Futado for taking us through those two rounds. As we will progress from here with one of these four qualifying into the big national final. Remember, from over 24,000 people, they've come down to the final 16, the true achievers and a class apart, as I call them. For the moment in the lead is Sanjana Bhatt from Chennai on 250. Right behind her on 100 is Arunima Das from... Uh, uh, Arunima is from Pune. And uh, she is right behind the girl from Chennai. The two young boys are behind the two girls. And they are buzzing, but they're buzzing a little slowly. But all of that could still change as we move on to the next frontier of our game, which we call She is Modern. Here it comes. Scoring pattern remains the same. Four questions to go. We're going to start with the first one on your screens now. His name is Jainaldin Marakarir. He was a boat owner and an imam of a local mosque in his city. He also owned a ferry that would take people, especially Hindu pilgrims, back and forth between Rameshwaram and the now uninhabited Danushkodi. His son is an architect of modern India. Who is this man's son? Sanjana not giving up. On 250, she's taking everything on. Yes, Sanjana, go on. His son is Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. A boat owner who would ferry people from across Rameshwaram. The great son who made his journey from Rameshwaram to Rashtrapati Bhavan. Absolutely correct. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Fantastic answer. Coincidentally, Dr. Kalam was a great friend of Mrs. YGP. And in fact, on an occasion when Mrs. YGP was celebrating her birthday, I think her 80th, he came to the school to wish her a birthday. And that's the kind of friendship the two great educators of this country had between them. So those are interesting nuggets from the life of 
Dr. Mrs. YGP, Dr. Kalam for a friend. Look at that. As we move on to the next one, on your screens, here it comes. This is a replica of the Brindavan Gardens. The Brindavan Gardens, of course, is in Mysore. But this was created as an idea and a replica given as a suggestion by a man from Mysore, which was Sir M. Visveshwaraya, who happened to be one of the directors of this company which created this. In which city of India would you find this replica of the Brindavan Gardens in splendor and beauty? Modern Indian city. A city all of us should be proud of in India. Nobody on the bazaar. Time lapses. Well, call the Jubilee Park. It's actually an inch to inch replica of the Brindavan Gardens from Mysore. And you would find it in grand splendor at Jamshedpur. And uh, he was actually, uh, Sir M.V. was on the board of Tata Steel for a very long time in his life. So a great engineer and his engineering marvel being replicated at Jamshedpur. Moving on to the next one on She is Modern. You've got to give me an overall answer. I'm trying to test waters on how you play with such kind of questions. So I've got one for you. You're going to get multiple images and an audio or a video on your screen. You've got to join the dots and give me an overall answer. Here it comes. Take a look. Listen to this on your screens. I've played a song, I've got three visual clues, it will lead you to one famous person from modern India. Nidhir is giving it a shot. What's the overall connection? The answer is Chetan Bhagat. The answer according to you is Chetan Bhagat. Explain that to me. Because the books I think are written by Chetan Bhagat. Five points someone is written by Chetan Bhagat. I think that one also the voice is... All right. And uh, why did I play that song? Okay. You still get it absolutely right. Chetan Bhagat it is. But the more narrow answer is these are all books from which films have been made in India of which the writer would be Chetan Bhagat. Five points, someone, of course, went on to become the immortal three idiots as a great film that India witnessed. So, 50 now to young Nidhir from Delhi as we go to the next one on your screens, the final one in this round coming up now. What's the missing location? Himachal Pradesh, Arunima Das is on the buzzer. Go ahead, Arunima. Shimla for summer, question mark for winter. Himachal Pradesh on your infographic. The answer is Jammu. You get a minus 50 on that, Arunima. It's not Jammu. Jammu Kashmir is another state which does have a summer capital and a winter capital. But the answer for Himachal Pradesh would actually be Dharamshala. Dharamshala is the winter capital. So you would have uh, thought that through better before you went on the buzzer. But you get yourself a minus 50. You can mute your mic now. And uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, the battle is going to move into the final frontier. But let's take a look at the scores. We've got two of them on 50. Nidhir from Delhi and Arunima from Pune. Uh, Mithansh is yet to score while Sanjana is cruising along on 300 at this point in time as we move into the final frontier of our battle which we call a class apart. Here it comes. On the final frontier of this quiz we are going to give you 60 seconds of time each. To answer a potential four questions, you get a full one minute to answer those four questions that I'm going to fire at you. It's an individual round. 
So you can choose to spread out your time in that one minute. It's not on the buzzer, it's questions against time. So what we're going to do in this round is we're going to start from the person who's lying at the least position, which is Mithanj. So he'll play first and then we'll play Sanjana last. By virtue of leading the quiz into the final round, she gets to know her position before she plays a class apart. The rules of the game. The 60 seconds of time includes the time taken by the quiz master to read out the questions. In the 60 seconds, if you get it right, you get a plus 50. If you get it wrong, you get a minus 50. Please remember, if you choose to pass a question, you don't lose any marks. So you will make that strategic decision on whether you want to answer or not answer. So you can give a correct answer, you get a 50. Wrong answer, minus 50. You pass, you lose nothing. However, even if you've got time left, you cannot go back to a question that you chose to pass. So spread the four questions across your one minute of time. So if you are ready, on first is Mithanj from Bengaluru, Karnataka. If you are ready, Mithanj, your one minute of time, time starting now. Which Tata gift or creation was conceptualized by Jay and Tata along with a discussion that he had with Swami Vivekananda? Uh. It's a famous institute. Not trying? You got to tell me to pass, otherwise I'll believe uh, you're still thinking. I'll pass. Pass. Who was the first governor of the RBI? Was it C.D. Deshmukh or William Hemming? C.D. So, Deshmukh. Is correct. I'll give you one more because you just had time there. In Nepal, it is known as Tihar or Swanti. How do we know this festival in India? In Nepal, it's known as Tihar or Swanti. How do we know this famous festival in India? It's a huge festival. Not trying. All right. He didn't necessarily get his timing too well. The institute is something I thought you will get considering you are from Bengaluru. The answer is the Indian Institute of Science or IISE. So the one you got right, of course, was C.D. Deshmukh. And Diwali was the festival that I was looking for. Okay. So, <clears throat> Mitaj, if you could mute your mic. All right. Uh, between Nidhir and Arunima, since Arunima has got more questions right and wrong and made more attempts in this quiz, Nidhir will play first and then Arunima. So, Arunima will set a target for Sanjana and see how Nidhir plays. So Nidhir will come up next. Nidhir from Delhi, if you are ready, Nidhir, if you could switch on your mic. Your one minute of time, Nidhir, starting now. Which great Indian epic is also written by Agni Sharma, Ramayana or Mahabharata? Which great Mahabharata. epic? Mahabharata, you said? Yes. Is incorrect. The Badra Wildlife Sanctuary is a protected area in which South Indian state? Wait, what? The, sorry, I'm sorry. The Bandipur Wildlife Sanctuary is a protected area in which South Sir, Indian Karnataka. state? Karnataka. Karnataka is correct. Karnataka. The, the Sardar Sarovar Dam is built on which river? Pass. I'll give you the last one because I was slow. India's first law minister was also the first Indian to get a doctorate in economics from abroad. Who is this great personality? Well, the last one creates problem for him is B.R. Ambedkar. As you lose Ambedkar. on time. Well, too late for you, young man. Nidhir, you got Karnataka right and I think you passed on the rest so you will finish with 50 on your scorecard as well. Harunima is on 50, but she can set 
a tough target if she gets her four right and then hope that Sanjana makes a few mistakes. Uh, because Sanjana is looking really strong and solid at this point in time. But for now, we are moving into one minute of time for Arunima Das. If you are ready, Arunima, your one minute yes, of sir. time, your one minute of time, time starting now. Megadatta is a lyrical poem written in Sanskrit by which great poet? Megadatta. Surpass. The Ranthambore National Park is Sir, a mix. I don't know. The second question. Sir, the can Ran you listen? The Ranthambore. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Ranthambore National Park is in which state of India? Madhya Pradesh or Rajasthan? Rajasthan. Is correct. Rajasthan. Is correct. The source of this river is the west of the catchment area of Rake, Lake Rakshastal in Tibet. It enters India in the Himachals and flows through Punjab. Which river is this? Ganges or Satlej? Sir, could you repeat? I'll repeat. I'll be lenient on time because I think she does have... It's a catchment area of the Lake Rakshastal which is the origin of this river. It flows through Punjab. Is it the Ganges or the Satlej? Satlej. Is correct. I will give you the last question because you've been struggling with being able to hear me. India's first railway minister went on to become a finance minister as well in a later era. Who am I describing? India's so first pass. railway minister. You choose to pass that. So she finishes her yes, quiz sir. with 150 points. She got Rajasthan right. She got Satlaj right. She missed out on Kali Dasa, the one and only Sanskrit poet that should have been cracked by her. She's smiling. She knows she should have got that right. And uh, she also did not know John Mathai, the great railway minister who went on to become a finance minister. Well... Moving on to the young lady from Chennai, Tamil Nadu. She's on 300. And uh, she can create quite a sensation in this quiz if she gets a minus 200. Well, Sanjana wouldn't want to do that. She is smiling. Uh, she can choose to, of course, uh, pass the four questions and reign at 300 and go into the national final. But I'm reasonably sure she's going to try and play out her questions on the merit of the questions. Sanjana Bhatt, if you are ready with your one minute of time, time starting now. He began using a pen name instead of Srivastava when he started writing Hindi poetry. What famous family name in Indian cinema comes from this? Bachchan. Is correct. The Gugamal National Park is in which state of India? Rajasthan or Maharashtra? Bach. The Hemavati River found in Karnataka is a tributary of which other great river? The Hemavati. Pass. Choose to pass. National Education Day in India is to commemorate the birth anniversary of the first education minister of independent India. Who? Well, she's either playing really safe or she did not know it honestly. Maulana Abdul Kalam Azad or Abu Kalam Azad was the first uh, independent India's education minister. The river from Karnataka is Kaveri. Well, that was easy in my opinion. Uh, you certainly got Bachchan right and you chose to pass Maharashtra. But that takes her to a solid 350 Though she chose to play the final round with a lot of maturity and not wanting to lose the turf that she had gained. Finishing runner-up here today is the young girl from Pune, Arunima Das, in our semi-final. Extremely well played, Arunima, but becoming our first national finalist as she walks into the nation's top four. Ladies and gentlemen, Sanjana Bhatt from Padma Se Shadri Bal Bhavan, Chennai, really storming her way through dominating the first semi-final and then playing it out cautiously towards the end. Congratulations to all of you for being in the top 16 and uh, all the best to Sanjana as she moves into the national finale.
for now. From me, Pick Brain, my young colleague Rashmi Futado, from all of us here at a class apart, on behalf of TCS Ion, on behalf of the Padma Shadri group of institutions, from all of us here at Cray Caps Knowledge Tribe, truly happy to have brought you the first semi final. Be back for the second one. You surely don't want to miss that, looking at the caliber of the kids that we've identified. All of that, of course, a little later, but for now, truly, truly appreciate your presence in this semi final. Thank you and goodbye. Friends, put your hands together to welcome on stage Quizmaster Big Brain. <laughs> Hello and a warm welcome to each and every one of you. You're with me, Pig Brain, here today on A Class Apart. The Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz 2020, as the nation now knows it. An idea created by Padma Se Shadri Balbavan Group of Institutions to keep the memory, legacy and inspiration of Mrs. YGP alive by creating a beautiful cerebral celebration for middle school children across this nation. We are here today on the second semi-final after 24,000 students battled in the preliminary rounds organized by TCS ION and these were robust software platforms, exactly the same platforms that India takes its CAT exam to aspire to be an IIM student. So that's the kind of seriousness with which this quiz has been organized for our little ones. And here today, we've got with us four contestants who made it through from that 24,000 to the final 16 of our nation. A truly brilliant concept to celebrate India and to celebrate the youth of this nation at probably a rather tender age as they are still at the middle school level. But after the grueling quarterfinals that they went through, we are here in the second semi-final. I have with me a very young host, the only lady who does professional quizzing in India and of course in different countries across Asia. She shares her name, like I said during the first semi-final, with the pen name of Mrs. YGP, which is Rashmi. She herself, of course, is an alumnus of NITK Suratkal and she's logging into this quiz today from Mulki, a beautiful small town near Suratkal. And we've, of course, got four contestants from all across India. It's really, really fascinating to see everyone from their own locations as we come together to put this quiz in shape. But for the moment, we'll introduce these wonderful youngsters to you and then we'll pick action with our quiz. For now, over to you, Rashmi, if we could request you and welcome you as a co-host into this semi-final to introduce our finalists that you have identified after the quarterfinals. All yours, Rashmi. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We have had a set of amazing quarterfinals for the top 32 of the 24,000 children who took part in Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz. And four out of them who got shortlisted for the semi-final are here with us today. Let me quickly introduce them to you. First of all, I have Rishit from DBMS School, Jamshedpur. There he is. Following him is Shrikhar from Lakshmipat Singhania Academy, Kolkata. Representing Sri Kumaran's Children's Home, Bangalore, we have Samik. And representing St. Thomas Residential School, Tiruvannantapuram, we have Siddharth. These kids have played really well in the quarterfinals. Let's see what happens in the semi-final today. Big Brain will take the quiz forward for the first round. Over to you, Big Brain. Thank you, Rashmi. As we get started with the first frontier of our quiz, but before we even get into that first frontier, really nice to see young kids from all over the country with us. And uh, we're going to celebrate India during the course of this quiz. And we call it she is India. Here it comes on your screen. 
And it also reflects a passion area of Mrs. YGP. She's very, very deeply passionate about nation and very, very keen that children appreciate the country that they are from and in the right manner. So she is India, will remain our running theme through the entire quiz from the first question of the prelim to the last one that we will ask perhaps a few episodes from now. But for the moment here today, we've seen our four finalists in this semi-final. As Rashmi tells me, they've really done well in the quarterfinals to be here. Jamshedpur, Kolkata, Bangalore and Trivandrum, one of them will go into the national final of India. The rules of the game before we progress. All questions in these rounds on the buzzer. The final round will be team specific or individual specific. I'll brief you on that when we reach there. But for the moment, we're going to pick action with plus 50 if you get it right, minus 50 if you get it wrong. One attempt, whoever presses the buzzer first on every question. Time for us to get started. If all of you are ready, you will unmute your mic when I identify who is on the buzzer first. You can see that on your screens too, so you know who's pressed in what sequence. But for the moment, time for us to get started with the first of our rounds. She is historic. Here it comes. All right. We're going to get started with the first one and plus 50, minus 50 on your screen. There's the first question. Now. Sir Mirza Ismail conceived a plan of developing a garden. The garden was meant to be representative of the Mughal style. It was to be designed very similar to that of the Shalimar Gardens in Kashmir. What in mm. India are we talking about? Siddharth is giving it a shot from Thiruvananthapuram. Yes, young man, go ahead. Vrindavan Gardens. And uh, would you know where that is? In which Bangalore? city? Bangalore? In Mysore. Not too far. In Karnataka, yes, but in Mysore and not Bangalore. But he's got that absolutely right. The Brindavan Gardens is going to give him the first 50. As we go to the second one on your screen now. Gently falls the Bakula. The magic drum and other favorite stories. The Old Man and His God are all lovely books. Samik Rajaram from Bangalore. Go ahead, Samik. I think the answer is R.K. Narayan. R.K. Narayan authored all these books. Young man, that'll give you a minus 50. The answer is, well, considering Samik is from Bangalore, the writer is also based at Bangalore, is Sudha Murthy. Well, she's a lovely writer and uh, the magic drum is one of her really famous books. So a minus 50 to you on that one. You can also see the scores on your screen so you know where you stand at any given point in time. We move to the next one on your buzzers. Here we go. Careful. On screen. Here it comes. Ingenious planning did the trick for the Golconda Fort, which was one of the three to have attained this distinction. The other two forts with this distinction in India are the Janjira Fort and the Dalatabad Fort. They owe it essentially to building or to their builders who essentially ensured that something would never happen in history to these three forts. What is special or common to these three forts in Indian history? Only these three forts in Indian history have something uniquely in common thanks to the way they were planned by their builders. Young India is thinking about historic India. Nobody on the buzzer. All right, I'm going to give you the answer. These in the history of our nation are the only three forts that were never ever conquered. Well, most forts got breached in different battles. Nobody could breach these three forts simply because they had phenomenal architecture and design which enabled them to spot the enemy well in time and tackle with them. So, tough one for our contestants 
as we go to the last one in this round on your screen here it comes 18 forts were found on either side the north and south of the river shivnath which essentially is in the area of the southern kaushal also known as the kosal area this is how this particular region got its name 18 forts on either side siddharth is going first on the buzzer chatisgarh <laughs> can you explain that to me chatisgarh yeah but how what's your logic <laughs> i just read it in a quiz book you read it in a quiz book yeah but why why chatisgarh that i don't know you don't know that but you're saying the answer is chatisgarh well yes. only the first on the buzzer shrikar you can't try i'm sorry i know i can see your hand up but the answer is still right so siddharth will get his 50 for that and he's lucky to get chatisgarh well from trivandrum he still must be pretty decent with his hindi kerala is a state which is good in hindi uh, 18 plus 18 gives you 36 which is two sides of the river 36 in hindi is chatis hence chatis gad well it's not just a quiz we learn lovely new things 18 forts on either side the total of them was 36 and therefore the name chatis gad very early days in our quiz here today but we've got young siddharth from trivandrum in the beautiful state of kerala in the lead he's on 100 on minus 50 is samik the other two i'm sure will get scoring very very quickly on the other side of this break we're going to have rashmi coming over and handling the next couple of rounds as my co-host into this quiz semi final but for now quick break on the other side rashmi futhada welcome back ladies and gentlemen we now move on to the second round of this semi final she is beautiful well it comes india is a beautiful country not only for the views and the picturesque views that we have for the festivals for our culture and many more things india is meaningful and therefore she is beautiful let's move on to the questions of the star the scoring pattern remains the same plus 50 if you get it right minus 50 if you get it wrong all questions on the buzzer and our contestants already know the rules of playing on a buzzer so i will not repeat them let's move on to the question image is coming up with corresponding questions the first question be very careful when you play this round especially this question first question on your screen identify the structure shrikhar shrikhar going fast on the buzzer yes shrikhar bibika makbara built by aurangzeb it's in aurangabad bibika makbara built by aurangzeb it's in aurangabad he knows the entire history last 50 to you shrikhar absolutely right do you know the more colloquial name of the structure how the locals call it that i don't remember but i remember that it was a location of taj mahal you're absolutely right it was an or it is an imitation of taj mahal and the locals mostly call it a baby taj mahal sometimes in, kind of, in colloquial terms but the actual name is bibi ka makbara moving on to question number 2 shrikhar scoring the 50 on that question number 2 on your screen identify this famous saree design that comes from telangana or comes now telangana it's a very famous saree design it has a gi tag which is a geographical mm. shrikhar going on the buzzer again there yes shrikhar go on uttampalli Uchampal is what he says. 
Last 50, Shrika, you're absolutely right. These are the Puchakal Misaris, and they have what we call the GI tag, which are the geographical indicators, like Tukola Pirichakul. These are the Puchampali Saris. Moving on to question number three of this round. On your screen now. These temples, all right, not allowing me to complete my question. Shrikhar is on the buzzer again. Yes, Shrikhar. Mohan Temple, Bishnupur. And why is it special? I have went there. I know this. You have gone there, Shrikhar. I'm asking you, why am I specifically asking about this temple? What's so special about this temple? It's about, uh, it is made from terracotta. Plus 50 to you. Absolutely right. Sometimes the vacations that we take in our country helps us with a quiz. He gets his absolutely right because he's visited Vishnupur already. Plus 50 to Shrikhar. Moving on, the last question of this round. Here we go. What is Okay, okay. The, I think all of these finalists are well prepared. They're not allowing me to complete the question. And the first one on the buzzer is Rishit. Yes, Rishit. Yes. temple in Tanjavur. Why is it so special? What's so special about this temple? Uh, Ma'am, it was uh, thousand years old. 2010. Okay. What else? Anything else that you know about this temple? No, ma'am. Uh, it's just, and I think it's for uh, Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva is it. Okay. No problem. I give it to you, Rishi. You're absolutely right. Brahadishwara Temple is what I was looking for. Plus 50 to you. Round two going extremely well. Let's now move on to round three of the semi final. A quiz to commemorate or in the memory of a great pioneer, a lady. So we must have, we naturally have a round to admire all the inspirational ladies that we have from our country. At the semi-final, when all the contestants here are boys, let's see how well they do in this round, which is all about inspiring women. All right, guys, like you heard, this round is about inspiring women from our country. They can be from any field, okay? Literature, business, mythology, anything. So keep that in mind. These women are from our country. All right, moving on to question number one. Scoring pattern remains the same. Question number one on your screen. Identify this famous writer. She's a writer from our country. She's a novelist. Siddharth has gone on the buzzer. Yes, Siddharth, you can unmute yourself and speak. Anita, Anita Desai. Anita Desai, he says plus 50 to you. You're absolutely right. Anita Desai, uh, Fire on the Mountain, Fasting, Feasting, some of her most well-known books. And if I'm not wrong, one of these books has been nominated for the Booker as well. So very well-known author from our country. Moving on to question number two of this round. On your screen, here we go. Identify this inspirational lady. Think royalty. Maybe that is a good clue. I said think royalty. Right. Okay, I think Shrikhar has gone on the buzzer there just when I was about to move on to the next question, right on time. Yes, Shrikhar, go on. Sharmila Tagore. Sharmila Tagore, he says, well, his connection may not have been wrong because I said royalty, but unfortunately, a minus 50 to Shrikhar, the answer I was looking for, Maharani Gayatri Devi. Well, I, she's very, very beautiful and she's done a lot for the country. If I'm not wrong, she even got into politics of our country uh, at a later point in time. So that's her name, Maharani Gayatri Devi. 
Moving on to question number three of this round. Identify this woman from our freedom struggles. I said freedom struggles of our country. Rishit there, first one on the buzzer. Yes, Rishit. Madam Bikhaiji Kama. Madam Kama, he says. Why? What did she do? What is her most well-known contribution? Ma'am, she was known for hoisting the na uh, national flag at the World uh, Congress Conference. He has his facts right. Plus 50 to Rishit. You're absolutely right. And you can see that on your screen actually. She's unfurling the flag there. And the first flag or the official first official flag of our country that was unfurled was by Madam Kama. She's also known as Madam Kama. Moving on to the last question of this round on your screen. Here we go. Identify this lady. Rishi, you need to mute yourself. Yes, hold on. Hold on, guys, one second. Multiple contestants going on the buzzer there. Shrikhar, first one on the buzzer. Yes, Shrikhar. Kalpana Chawla. Kalpana Chawla. And what, what is she known for? She's an astronaut. She went in uh, Colombia, I think, in a rocket from NASA. But unfortunately, she died while she was returning. Well, he has his facts absolutely right. First woman of Indian origin to go into space. Kalpana Chawla, one of the inspiring ladies. Plus 50 to pick her. Well, you can see the scores right there on your screen, contestants. Siddharth is uh, leading this quiz along with Shrikhar on 150. Both are tied up. We have Rishit on 100 and Samik on minus 50. That is the score as of now. We are only in the third round of our quiz and we already have a tie. So let's see what happens at the other side of the grid. We will take this quiz forward. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You're with me, Pig Brain, on a class apart. The second semi final of the Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz 2020. Thank you so much to young Rashmi Futado for logging in from Muki and taking us through those two fascinating rounds. What a scenario, like she said. Two teams or two contestants on 150 apiece. Rishit on 100, right behind them from Jim Shedpur. So you got Kolkata, we've got Trivandrum, and we've got Jim Shedpur, and Samik from Bangalore, I'm sure, will get back on the buzzer and get back very quickly. But for the moment, we're moving on to the next frontier of our battle here today. It's called She is, is Modern. modern. Here, here it comes. comes. I've got four questions for you in this round. The scoring pattern continues to remain the same. Plus 50, minus 50, if you're ready. On your buzzers, the first one from She is Modern. Here it comes. This man architected the modern version of India's armed forces. A great personality, a powerful leader. Shrikar from Kolkata is first off the block. What do you think is the answer, Shrikar? Go ahead. Field Marshal Sam Manekshaw. Field Marshal Sam Manekshaw, the way you answered it, it looked like it ended with a question mark. But you're absolutely correct on that one. Oh, brilliant. Look at a sigh of relief on his face when he gets that 50. He takes him forward in the quiz, puts the pressure on Siddharth, but uh, well, it's not going to be easy in this battle here. Uh, Siddharth, I would advise you to wear your earphones. It will be easier for you. Yeah. Because of the internet lag, I think you've got very good earphones. That will really help you. Here's the next one on your screens coming up. Modern India. Here we go. This is... Oh, oh, oh. Even before I could say anything. Not just stopping Rashmi, but stopping me too in my questions. Go ahead, Shrikar. Quick on the buzzer from Kolkata. Sachin Ramesh, Sachin Ramesh Tendulkar. Sachin Ramesh Tendulkar. You are absolutely, perfectly correct. Well, he's got every part of that right, and he's now smiling at my reaction. 
He's got a 50, but he's getting those crucial 50s. This is like entering the slog overs with some good hits, and he's doing that, and he's doing that well. We've got two more to go. We've got one where you need to do a little bit of lateral thinking. I'm trying to test youngsters like you. We normally do these kind of questions at IIT, IIM kind of levels, but I'm trying it at middle school. Lateral thinking with me, pig brain. You got to give me an overall answer from what you see and listen. It's not what you see on your screen. It's something far more than that. So you have to work out an answer. So be careful. There's one common link to what you see and what you hear. Take a look, plus 50, minus 50. Here it comes. Samik is taking the risk. Careful. One person will emerge, which is not obvious, is what I've said. Yes, Samik. Uh, the answer is Amitabh Bachchan. Oh, Samik. I warned you saying it's not what is obvious, which means I'm not going to be showing you Amitabh Bachchan on your screen if the answer is Amitabh Bachchan. Well, tough one for these youngsters, but from the world of Bollywood, one man has played a lot of role in Hindi films, though he's not necessarily credited sufficiently for his Hindi movies as much as he's credited for his Tamil movies, the overall connection is actually Rajini Kant and not Amitabh Bachchan. The audio was from the movie Hum, Vafadar, Anda, Kanun, Giraftar, all movies that featured the one and only Rajini Kant. Well, tough one as we go to the next one. On your screens, here it comes. Celebrate India is a line. Rishit is going for it. Celebrate India is what they say. Rishit, you're on the buzzer. You need to unmute your mic and answer. Rishit, mic please. Rishit, you got to answer now. All right, that's a minus 50 to you, Rishit. You're not answering. You've just hit the buzzer and you're waiting there. That's a big risk to take in a quiz. Minus 50 to you. You can't press the buzzer and then start thinking. That really does not help you at all in a quiz like this. And uh, I think he just had too much of pressure on him. Didn't allow me to read the question out as well. Founded by an American who was in India working for the Ford Foundation. They celebrate India and the artisans of India, a famous brand was created by him, which lives on to this day. The answer is Fab India. All of us buy our kurtas and dresses. I do a lot of Fab India shopping, and it's one of my favorite outlets. So tough one on that for youngsters like you. For the moment, we've got one round to go, and we're moving into the final frontier of our game, which is called a class apart. Here it comes. All right. On the final frontier of this game, we're going to go from the contestant who is currently in fourth position to the contestant who is leading, which means Shrikar from Kolkata will play the rapid fire last. The order and sequence would be Shamik from Bangalore. He'll play the rapid fire first. Rishit from Jamshedpur will play second. Siddharth from Trivandrum will set a target and Shrikar from Kolkata will chase. That's the sequence of the final round. The rules. You get one minute of time in which I will ask you a potential four questions that you can answer. If you get it right, you get a 50. You get it wrong, you get a minus 50. However, you can choose to pass a question and then you do not get a negative. Remember? You can't go back to a question even if you have time, so space it out in the one minute. Remember, the time taken by me to read the question is included in the 60 seconds of time. I shall take your first answer as correct or incorrect. 50, you get it right. Minus 50 if you get it wrong. Samik, Samik Raja Raman from Kumaran's Children's Home, Bengaluru. If you are ready, are you? 
If you could unmute your mic. Samik Raja Ram, if you are ready, your 60 seconds of time, time starting now. Fast Track is a brand owned by which company? HMT or Titan? Uh, what did you say? Could you repeat it? Fast Track is a brand owned by which company? HMT or Titan? Uh, HMT. Incorrect. The first iron cased rockets used against British East India was during which ruler's reign? Hyder Ali or Tipu Sultan? Uh, could you repeat it, please? I couldn't hear. Iron cast rockets used against the British East India were during which ruler's reign? Tipu Sultan or Hyder Ali? Uh, Tipu Sultan. Is correct. Which city is known as the city of lakes in India? Um, um, Pune. Incorrect. I'm going to give you the last one because you're just on the nick of time when I'm starting. The Lightning Kid. The Lightning Kid is a title given to which Indian sportsman who thinks at super fast speed? Um, the Lightning Kid. Sachin Tendulkar is wrong. Well, you took too many chances on that. Titan, you got wrong. You missed Udayapur. And finally, the lightning kid of India is Vishwanathan Anand, the great man who plays lightning chess. So well played, Shamik Raja Ram. It really doesn't matter how much you score here, but you're in the top 16 of India from 24,000 yeah. people. So that's a super performance. I request you to mute your mic. And uh, <clears throat> Shamik finishes his stint at this quiz as we move to our next contestant, which is Rishit. Rishit still has an outside chance, but given where Rishit comes from, he's got to probably play like MS Dhoni in this final round. Rishit, you want to unmute your mic? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. And leave it like that. Don't touch your mic now. If you are ready, Rishit, your 60 seconds of time starting now who is credited as the founder of the reliance group of companies is correct who was the first musician in india to receive a bharat ratna hari prasad charasya or ms subalakshmi ms subalakshmi is correct who completed the construction of the kutub minar sher shah suri or ilkutmish I said Sher Shah Suri or Iltutmish. Iltutmish, Iltutmish. Is correct. Who composed the music for the famous movie Roja? Great musician. Oh, four on four to Rishit. He's done a Dhoni in this round. What a performance by the young boy from Jamshedpur. It takes him, I think, to 250. Phenomenal performance, Rishit. Outstanding. No one in this quiz has got a 50 in every question so far. Well, Dhoni will be proud of you, considering that he practices his cricket at that lovely city you're from in Jamshedpur. It puts a lot of pressure on Sir. You're his biggest fan. Well, who is not in India, Rishit? Well, who's not a fan of Dhoni, but for the moment... Siddharth Kumar Gopal from Trivandrum has got a lot of pressure on him. He's on 150. Rishit's put up a big score of 250. Shrikar is on 250 already. So if Siddharth does not get there, Shrikar is only going to tell himself, I need to get one question right and I can win this quiz. Beautiful semi-final here, but I don't think Shrikar is going to give up easily. Siddharth? He's going to set the target. Are you ready, Siddharth? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Perfect. All the best to you, young man. 60 seconds of your time if you are ready. Time starting now. Which famous Indian cricketer is also nicknamed the Haryana Hurricane? Kapil Dev. Is correct. 
which temple was ransacked by Muhammad Ghazni 17 times? Somnath Temple. Correct. Which game in India was also known as Shaturang? Yes. Yes. Is correct. Who wrote Shah Nama? Shah Nama. You have some time on hand. He's running Fardos out of time. Singh. Sorry? Fardos Singh. You got to give me a better answer. Ferdos Singh. Ferdos Singh. Ferdos Singh. Ferdos. Is, is correct. Give that to you. He's got that right. Please keep your earphones on, young boy. Otherwise, it's very, very difficult for us to have you hear it out. You get that absolutely right. So he's got a 200 on 200 as well. So he's putting a lot of pressure on Siddharth. So with that 200, I think he moves now to 450, if I'm not wrong. is uh, Sorry, 350 is what Siddharth reaches with that score. And uh, Shrikar will have to get three questions right. And, well, logically, he shouldn't get anything wrong. So he'll probably have the room to pass one question and get three right. But if he gets two right and passes two, you still have a tiebreaker. But Siddharth has really put the pressure on with 350 coming in. And uh, if you are ready, Shrikar, perfect. He says he is ready. He's from Kolkata. And uh, his 60 seconds of time starting now. Uncle Pai created which magazine famous in India? Indrantal Comics or Amar Chitra Katha? Amar Chitra Katha. Is correct. Lord Buddha's father was the chief of which clan? The Panipat clan or the Shakya clan? Shakya clan. Shakya clan. Correct. Which Indian musical instrument is also known as Baja or Peti? Pass, pass. He moves to the final question. Which famous painter originally from Kerala would you connect to Lady Lost in Thought, Damayanti Talking, and Jatayu Wars with Ravana? Raja Karma or Nikhil Nair? Pass, pass. Oh, he chooses to pass the last question, which means this quiz will go into a tiebreaker. From Kerala, the great painter that I was talking about was Raja Ravi Verma. Well, well, well. If he had got that right, he would have won that quiz. But we've got a tiebreaker here between Srikar from Kolkata and Siddharth Kumar Gopal from Trivandrum. All right. If you guys are ready, are you? It's on the buzzer only between the two of you. Can I have both of you switch on your mics, please? So how many questions? One question at a time. If you buzz, you got to answer that question. All right? If you are ready, hands on the buzzer, and you got to answer immediately as soon as you choose to buzz. Question only for the two of you. Is that clear? So the buzzer is locked. We'll we'll just yeah. Can you try both of you just to be double sure? Yes. Perfect. Okay. We'll unbuzz. All right. We're gonna start with the first one. Question to both of you on the tiebreaker. Who? in history was the only female ruler who Siddharth has gone for it. I did not even ask you the question, Siddharth. Huge risk. Who? Sir, sir, sir. Razia Sultana. Sorry? Razia Sultana. Well, you took a huge risk, Siddharth. Why would you do something like that? Shrikar from Kolkata will emerge our winner here today. 
minus one to you, Siddharth. It's not a sensible thing to do when you do not hear out a question and wait for the answers to come. Kindly unmute your mics. Well, ladies and gentlemen, a remarkable final here today as young Siddharth misses out on that final question, not even allowing me to complete the question and too much of a rush of blood coming in there while I was leading into a story that would have taken you into the history of Jodha, Akbar and so on. But too long a question and he just stopped me, I think with rush of blood and uh, well, young boy, he learned from these mistakes that patience is a virtue at the end of the day and our teachers keep trying to teach us that. So young Shrikar gets into the national final from Kolkata. Siddharth is going to tell himself, I did so well, except that I should have been a little more patient. Outstanding performance, Siddharth, by you. My heart really goes out to you here today. Moving on, ladies and gentlemen, winning this semi-final here today is Shrikar from Kolkata as he moves into the national final to join Sanjana Butt from Chennai. Missing out is Siddharth Gopal from Trivandrum. Ladies and gentlemen, you certainly do not want to miss the third semi-final coming up and uh, keep track of that. While I really appreciate you for joining us today and congratulate these four young, amazing children for doing so well in the semi-final here today. From my young colleague Rashmi Futado, from me, Pick Brain, from everyone here at the Class Apart, a fantastic quiz in the memory of Mrs. YGP brought to you by Grey Caps Knowledge Tribe in association with TCS ION and of course a concept created by the Padmasya Shadri Bal Bhavan group of institutions. It's me, Pig Brain, signing off. Thank you for joining us and be back for the third semi-final. Till then, goodbye. <laughs>